So as I am washing my car, just take a moment to appreciate the stratosphere blue, or should I say the Portimao blue from BMW. Looks so good. And honestly, guys, I've fallen in love with this five spoke wheel. I'm gonna be kind of sad to put back on the multi spokes that come from the factory. I really think I might get a set of TEs. I'm not too sure, but I just really love this design, especially how you could see the red brakes so much more visibly. Anyways, the reason I'm posting today's video is because, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, ever since I filmed that video with the GT350, I have been watching so much content on the Mustangs, on the GT350, 350R, and the 500, and man, not gonna lie, I've kind of fallen in love with this car. It is just so much different than the GT, which is what I've been driving for the past year or so, uh, in and out the dealership. Really, this is a completely different car. It is not the same, so it may look the same in certain ways, but driving-wise and dynamically, this is completely different. The only thing that bugs me out is the interior. I mean, it's very, very simple for $75,000, but the touch points, like the shifter, the seat, and the steering wheel are all great. But for the price, it's just a little too expensive, I think, for me, in my opinion. I think if this car was right around $50,000, that would be on the money. But the price does not take away that this car drives fantastic. And I was actually looking in the market, the 350R and the 350, there is a big, big price difference. And the difference between the two is not that much. I mean, yeah, you get the nicer wing and you get the suspension that's a little different, but other than that, it's not too, too much. You get the same Voodoo engine, but in some instances, it's almost a $25,000, $30,000 difference between the two. So is it really worth it to step up to the R? Yeah, it's a little more special, a little more unique. You can get the carbon fiber roof. Other than that, it's not too, too different. The price doesn't really reflect how much different of a car you get. If I had two cars, a daily and a fun car, I would definitely pick the daily and this, but just because I don't have a daily driver, I need the Supra, automatic, much more luxury leather seats, much more better functions for a daily. So that's why ultimately I can't trade in the Supra for the GT350, but I definitely show love and more respect for that car.